On day four of decampment on Hastings, not everyone is willing to pack up and move in the pouring rain. City crews supported by the VPD, exercising restraint and compassion during a difficult task. I saw that. That's why I took it up, put it in the green one for you. The city says this process will repeat. You guys want to keep the bridge if you want to store them? Okay, okay. In order to keep the sidewalks clear of new tents and structures, as per the fire chief's order. Well, they go that way, I'm going to go this way. The Union Gospel Mission says the ongoing displacement changed the mood of this year's Easter meal. Every time we do a de-encampment without places for someone to go, um, it's, it's a failure. The situation there is not sustainable. We've had fires, uh, assaults. BC's Premier maintains there is space for people to come inside. It's emergency shelter space, it's dignified, there's meals, and it is a chance to assess people, get a sense of what they need for housing, and get them into uh, the housing that we're bringing online, 110 units a month over the next three months uh, to get people inside into permanent housing. I think that they've got a long way to go. After navigating people's makeshift homes since last summer, condo residents say they've noticed some improvement outside. I'd love to see it vacant of people, Nobody's selling anybody anything and it's not smelling like a toilet. Madeline Reardon also doesn't know if housing alone will solve anything. But I think that ultimately it's a mental health crisis and I'm not exactly sure what the answer to that is, but I know that they need to have some mental health professionals doing more. For now, expect more of this. That way you guys have all your belongings. Kristen Robinson, Global News.